So we're gonna test that battery in extreme conditions. Probably not something that the manufacturer recommends, but customers usually do things that the manufacturers don't recommend. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Justin, and in today's video, I'm gonna be taking a closer look at the EcoFlow River 2 Max. And I wanna thank the folks over at EcoFlow for sending this product out to me so I can take a look at it and get a deeper understanding of how this unit might work. In full disclosure, they sent this over to me to do a review on it, but they have not pressured me to be only doing a positive review. They asked me to do an honest review, and that's what I wanted to do and bring it to you in real life situations if this product is good, if this product is great, or if it just absolutely sucks. For most of you watching my channel, you may have heard of EcoFlow, but just in case you haven't, let's talk about who EcoFlow is and what they actually offer. EcoFlow creates eco-friendly solutions that allow you to have power anywhere in the world. With thoughtful design and lightweight features, they deliver smart and powerful storage products that can be used in everyday life, from home backup, outdoor adventures, and on-the-go job needs. EcoFlow is innovative and appears to be disrupting the space in their industry. At CES 2023, they revealed a couple products that I'm very excited about. And there's one new product that I'm extremely curious over. And I think you guys might be excited about it as well. Stick around for a bit and I'll share with you those products. But first I wanna talk more about the EcoFlow River 2 Max. Now let's talk about what the power station can be used for and talk a little bit about the specs. The power station can be charged from zero to 100% in less than an hour. That claim, I did test it and I do verify that it does charge from 0% to 100% in less than one hour. Now, one thing I would like to test on that is having a solar panel and see if it would charge in the three hour period that EcoFlow is claiming that it will. I don't know why it wouldn't, but I would really love to be able to test it on different types of days where it's cloudy out, full sunshine and find out where the median is. If it's three hours, three and a half, four hours, whatever it is, two, two and a half hours, because it actually did charge faster than an hour from plugging it into the wall. Because the battery cell chemistry is LFP, it'll have over 80% capacity after 3000 cycles. It's proven to be safe and reliable for over 10 years. And EcoFlow offers a class leading five year warranty on this power station. And you can charge this power station multiple ways so you're not limited to how you can actually charge up your batteries. You can use your AC outlet from inside your home or your shop. If you have the additional solar panel, you can charge out in the field. Or if you're on a long trip and you want to charge with the adapter, you can do that as well. And something that a lot of y'all will find useful is that you can power up to 80% of your home appliances with this little power station. And being that we're talking about the size of it, this is comparison. It is very lightweight and portable, weighing in at only 13.2 pounds. And just to add to the size of the box, the actual dimensions are right at 10 by 10 by eight. Yeah, there might be decimals. It's 10.7 by 10.2 by 7.7, .7, but 10 by 10 by eight will give you a good idea of the real size of the box if you're trying to figure that out. And one cool feature that it has is if you have it plugged into a wall, and you're powering something, it just passes through. But when the power goes out, you almost will not even see the power go out because it has a 30 millisecond switchover mode. And something that allows this to power most of those appliances and things that you want to power is this technology that EcoFlow calls X-Boost. That allows that little box to actually produce a thousand watts for a short amount of time to start an appliance up and then come back down to that 500 watt capacity that it has and power that unit for up to an hour. And you'll see in examples that I used in this video where it actually surges and it comes back down to 500 watts and we use it for a pretty good amount of time. And if you're a techie like I am, you're really gonna enjoy the future where you can control that box with an app on your smartphone. EcoFlow actually sent me this power station several weeks back but I wanted to make sure to put it through a test where I'm actually using a real life situation. Where would it come useful for someone like me, maybe for someone like you, and find out if this would be a product that I could stand behind and actually recommend. So with all that out of the way, over the last couple of weeks, I've really been testing this unit, trying to get a good feel of what it was capable of. And I wanna share with you the examples that I tested it under and how it might be useful for you. I even put it under extreme conditions. So I hope you stick around 
and check it out. It's not gonna be a normal test because this morning we woke up, it was a negative seven degrees outside with a wind chill of a negative 26. So we're gonna test that battery in extreme conditions. Probably not something that the manufacturer recommends, but customers usually do things that the manufacturers don't recommend. So we just wanna see how long this thing can last under extreme conditions. You can see it's 100%. I'm just gonna set it over there, put it on time-lapse. That's how cold it is. It is, <laughs> you can pick this up. <laughs> it has no flexibility in the line. All right, this test is gonna make no sense. I'm trying to find things that I can sit out here in the cold and not be with. We got, <laughs> we got the EcoFlow in sub-zero temperatures, and I'm gonna hook it to this mini shop vac, and I'm just gonna let it run and see how long that this will run at whatever watts this actually takes. I'm just trying to see if this thing can actually survive in temperatures that are this low. So what I'm gonna do, I'll go ahead and hit start. I'll pop this on, and I'll turn this on. We have something right at 500. That's awesome. We'll see how long it lasts. Forty-eight minutes and fifty-five seconds running full blast at five hundred to five hundred and ten watts the entire time. I ran lights and that shop vac and charged this camera through that whole process. Negative twenty-seven wind chill outside. So, do you know why people don't do these extreme tests? For one, you got to wear gloves, and using technology sometimes everything's touch screen or touch base and I don't have any touch gloves. So my hands are absolutely frozen and I'm not out here very long. I can't do this very long, but I'm super, super impressed. So this is one of those mornings where it's just really cold to the bone and I need some type of heat source in here while I'm running electrical. So I'm bringing in the EcoFlow to give it a test. I'm gonna run my propane heater. So I got a propane running over and it takes an electrical source to run the blower. So I have some type of heat uh, in here. None of my plugins are working. And while I'm working on the electricity, I need some type of heat because my hands are going to get really cold. It's going to make twisting wires really hard. So I'm going to recruit the EcoFlow River 2 Max to act as my heater in this space today while I'm wiring my circuit for my plugs. I have no other source that I can run indoors for my heater. So how this works, salamander heater, I guess is what you would call it, a mini and it has a power source that runs the blower on the back, but I have no power source. So I'm gonna be using the EcoFlow today to power this to provide me with heat while I run electrical in my building. So we're gonna have, what, four hours of run time for a heater. So it's pretty slick that I can run my heater with this little EcoFlow River 2 Max. That, that's pretty cool, man. This thing is kind of, no, not kind of, it's very impressive that I can do these sort of things with a battery that I can pack around and it doesn't hardly weigh anything. It's very portable and I've found many uses for it, especially on a job site and other things. And I'll talk more about that throughout this video. Here's another really good solution to when you don't have any power to your plugs. I got a dead battery in my <laughs> drill I do have extras, but I need to be charging this one while I'm working. So you'll see right there, it's down to one, so it won't even start my drill. I'm actually gonna charge it on the EcoFlow while I'm using the heater. That's a good thing about this little box, is it got multiple outlets, so I can do multiple things at one time. And I still got three hours of runtime on that baby. 
I'm liking that thing. So I find myself in another situation where I can use the EcoFlow. I'm glad I got this and it come at just at the perfect time when I was starting this project. I don't have all of the battery operated tools that you can buy. I have a lot, but not all of them. And this has come in really handy when I was wanting to heat the building. Now I need to put light in here so I can work in this box. And how I'm gonna do that is let's move it down here. I'm just gonna plug it into my lights. I'll turn the switch on and boom, I have light. So now I'll be able to work in that box and clearly see what I'm doing. If I didn't have that, I would be working off a little bit of lights because it's all I have. This will power this for 12 hours. It's coming really handy in a lot of different situations. And another really great use for the EcoFlow River 2 Max is for tailgating. If you have like a Instapot or a Ninja Foodie, you can run these at your tailgate for up to an hour on a pressure cook or anything on this side, which is pressure, steam, slow cook, and a sear. We'll just test it out real quick. Just plug it in, turn it on. I'm at 97% and we'll just, we'll start on the pressure side. Now on the burner side, it can't do it. It's not really big enough for that, but it, you can cook a lot on these four settings on this side. So I'll turn it over here. I'd have to put the other top on, slap it on there. We're preheating and you can see that we got 51 minutes of cook time. Let's change the function to steam and start it. We're running right at 500 watts and this can go for 51 minutes on that setting. I wanna go down to sear because if you were cooking steak or something like that and you wanna fry something like like pan fry it, then you, you would use the sear and let's see what would happen. We got it on high. We're running at 800, so it went up to 871 watts, but then it comes back down to 500 because that's where the burner is. So it had that surge. So this held it, it didn't kick it off and you wouldn't be able to use your power station. That's uh, pretty impressive that you can use the sear option, like a burner to actually cook your steaks or cook you know, whatever you're cooking for your tailgate, or if you were just out having a picnic, you can make your meal at the site by just using the EcoFlow River 2 Max. And now here's a good example for a situation where you're camping and you want coffee in the morning. You just take your coffee maker with you, plug in your EcoFlow, we're at 95%. We'll turn that on and then we'll just turn on the coffee maker. The burner surges at 850, or 800, and 52 watts comes back down to 507 watts and we're brewing coffee. Now that we finished brewing our pot of coffee, we still have 56% left on our battery. We started, I think that it was at 96% and that's pretty good because now we can move on to doing other things in our morning on our campsite. Thank you, EcoFlow. If you want to calculate the runtime for whatever item you're trying to figure out how long this thing would power it for, do 512 watt hours times 0 0.085 divided by the operating wattage of the appliance you're trying to power. And I made a list of items that you may find surprising that this thing could power. A full size refrigerator for three hours, a CPAP machine for two days, eight to nine hours a night. You could charge your smartphone 41 times. You can run a blender for one hour. You could cook rice in a rice cooker for 40 minutes. You could charge your laptop seven times. Portable cookers for long travel, such as that Ninja Foodie that I did in this video. Powering power tools on the job site. Fans when it's hot out. Adding it as a backup to security lights. And you can even run a shop back when it's 27 below zero for one hour. So if you're interested in anything that EcoFlow may be offering or anything they're gonna be offering in the future, be sure to check out the discount code I'll leave in the description below. And as you've seen earlier in the video, this became very useful when I was out in my shop trying to wire it. Rather than having to get a gasoline engine power generator, taking it outside and running an extension cord inside to power my heater, I was able just to plug this thing right in and give me a little bit of relief from the extreme cold. And that's not the only scenario where you can use this for. This is something you can use indoors. You just can't do that with a gasoline powered generator. So my overall recommendation 
for the EcoFlow River 2 mics is a definite buy. Once more, I want to thank EcoFlow for sending out this power station and allowing me to get to understand what EcoFlow is actually trying to achieve, what this box was capable of, and where EcoFlow is going in the future by just doing a little bit of research. I really stand behind what this company is trying to do. So I want to highly recommend if you're looking for a power station, I don't think there's a better power station on the market. Yes, there may be other brands out there that are offering power stations. But in my honest opinion, I do believe EcoFlow is going to be the main disruptor in this space. I like the idea that they're moving into refrigerators, portable AC units, and even lawnmowers. Now let's talk a little bit more about that. There's one of those items that I'm extremely excited about, and that's that portable AC. Everyone that's following along with my channel knows that I'm finishing my shop by myself, but you probably have noticed I don't have a heater and I don't have an AC unit. This would be something that would be very useful in a shop like mine because we're going to have an office space, we're going to have a bathroom, we're going to have a storage space, a place to park my tractors, and a place for just a work, a dedicated workshop. And I would love to be able to test out that unit to see where we can use it in our office space inside that workshop because it would provide heat and AC. So I'm excited about EcoFlow and where they're going. I haven't been excited about a company like this in a long time. I do love seeing innovation and I think EcoFlow is headed in the right direction. Yeah, those other companies might offer quality products, but I don't think there's another company out there right now that's like EcoFlow. I wasn't at CES 2023, so I don't know much about the portable refrigerator, the portable AC unit, or the mower, but I just want to clip in a couple things here and show you. These, these are the items that they presented in the CES trade show this year, 2023. Thanks for hanging out with me to the end of the video. If you're interested in any EcoFlow products, be sure to check the description below to save 5% on any item that you buy through their website. And as always, if you found this video useful, be sure to click that little thumbs up button because it really does help me out. Leave me a comment below. Let me know if you have an EcoFlow River 2 Max or you just have an EcoFlow product in general, what you think of it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.